just really feel like this week God wants to deal with some attitudes okay. the entire week. Okay. So we're going to see where it takes us and everything, but um, I just want to, I want to deal with this today. So, or this week. So here we go. Um, go to Genesis chapter four, six through seven. Genesis chapter four, six through seven, and we're going to get some attitude straight. Amen. We're going to do some stuff here. If you've not shared this already, go ahead and share it. Tag someone, inbox it, share it over all of your platforms, and reshare it. Help us boost this message of hope and truth. Okay. Oh, my hoodie's messed up. Oh, man, I pulled it that way. Okay, there we go. All right. All right. Genesis them. four, six through seven says, why are you so angry? Preach. All right. Now, this is the Lord speaking to Cain. He said, why do you look so dejected? You will be accepted if you do what is right, but if you refuse to do what is right, then watch out. For sin mm -hmm. is crouching at the door, eager to control you, but you must subdue it and be its master. Yeah. Father, we love you and praise you. Let your word come yes. forth. Shine in us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bad attitudes hurt relationships with God. Amen. Bad attitudes will hurt your relationship with God. If you're, if you're dealing with anger, malice, strife, any of those things right there, your attitude will either prepare you for falling or prepare you for standing. Um, a conversation, conversations with the Lord is one of the most, is the, is, is a major part of a relationship. Mm -hmm. This is what I heard our pastor talking about yesterday. And, and he was mentioning prayer and conversation and relationship and whatnot. And it was right on track with where we're going this week. So I want you to see this in the um, situation room here is what I want to call it. The situation That's room between, between the Lord and Cain. And he stops and he asks him a question. This tells us right now that God talks if we will listen and we can talk back and we can have communication and relationship. And he makes this statement. He says, why do you look so dejected? That's a word. Yeah, dejected. Watch this. Dejected means, it means a real lot in Hebrew. It's tearful, sad, mm -hmm. covered in shame, upset. Your countenance has changed. Mm -hmm. So watch this. When your countenance changes, God notices. When your countenance changes, God notices right away. Amen. And he says, you don't look the same. Amen. Something looks different about you, not in a good way, because mm -hmm. you look dejected. What does it mean? It is an outward expression of an inward battle. So whenever you're going through something... Don't think that you can hide it. You can try to hide it the best that but you can. it's going to expose itself. But it will come <laughs> out of you. Yes. Because you cannot control. You can try to put on a pretty face. You can say the right things. See certain. I mean, do whatever. But the you outward. You never hide anything from God. It's always an outward expression yes. of an inward battle. And the only way to get free from it is to talk it out with the Lord. Amen. Amen. So the Lord goes to Cain and says, why are you so dejected? And Cain doesn't answer in this moment, and that's, that's different. That's another part, but here, here's where we are. He says, if you'll do what is right, don't refuse to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. Because if you refuse and you do wrong, there is sin is waiting at your door. And it's Ooh. eager to control you. Mm -hmm. Now, this is huge. I want you to see this. If... Because let's go back. Sin is waiting at your door and it's eager to control you. But this is what the Lord says to Cain. You must subdue your sin. Mm -hmm. Now we understand that we have been saved by grace. Um, we are under the blood of Jesus. We are children of most high God. We can come boldly before the throne of grace and make our request be known. We pray for the forgiveness of sins and sins is forgiven. The day that you got saved, your sin was forgiven. Um, da, 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 da. But it doesn't mean that we continue in. Uh, we're not to be slaves to sin, but slaves into righteousness. Yes. But I want you to really see what is happening here. He says, you have to subdue this sin and this anger and this thing you're dealing with, and you have to become its master or it will subdue and master you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Are you seeing this? The word subdue means to look into the face of your enemy 
and conquer it with force. You can't back down from this kind of thing. Hold it down yeah. and not let it up. Yeah. Paul says it this way. I die daily mm -hmm. to master my flesh. If not, my flesh runs my day and not my spirit man. Wow. So for whatever reason, it, it, and I know, I don't want to set up a dogmatic type of, of evaluation here when it comes times for the holiday and say it and like this always happens, but something around the holidays always produces attitudes. Well, can I, can I just say, and, and not that I'm approving of not this. Not that it's good. And yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead. But you're talking about traffic. You're talking about long lines. The fruit of the spirit is exposed during the holidays. And guess people what? People at your house. There people were, coming over. That um, fruit was it, it, already. Hold on just a second. That fruit was already there. But it got all exposed. All year it got long. got exposed. But because of the pressure that's applied because of the traffic, the long lines, the, the cranky people at your work, all of the new people in your house, all the extra cleaning that you're doing. Trying not to get caught up in the hustle and the bustle of the holidays. And, and, and I ask you a question, because I know that, and, and I know that this isn't your message, so I'm gonna stop here in a second, but why are you doing whatever it is that you're doing? Who is it for? Well, let's, let's, let's sit right here that sometimes, I don't even think that you have to go anywhere and do anything. Attitudes just come because there's just this. Well, I want to say There's this. an uneasiness. And let yeah. me tell you this. Even though December is a time for Christmas and joy and celebration mm -hmm. and everything, you know what it also is? It's the ending of a year and the beginning of something new. Yep. And so there's always this fight right at the end of the year <laughs> to try and stop what God's wanting to do the next year. Yeah. And, and it, 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 it uh, here's what I hear. It produces an unbalance during the holiday season time mm -hmm. that gets us so stressed out, which I believe is trying to keep us from entering in the proper way into the next season in the next year. So, so well, what we have to do is we've yeah. got to subdue these attitudes. Well, and the only, I want to say this because I want to drive this point home. Why are we always in such a hustle and bustle during these holidays? Who are we doing this for? And that's what we've got to ask. Are you trying to spend time with your family or impress your family? Are you trying to have quality with them? Or are you doing it from some yeah, magazine show? I know, show? I know, but I, I, but I know that. that right there and produces. Sure, it's part of it. I it would say it's part of it. But I, hey, I'm I also from a think, woman's standpoint. No, 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 I got it. I got it, but I'm talking, well, I yeah. guess I'm talking from a man's standpoint then, but yeah. it, it'd probably be a woman. I mean, I've got a little <laughs> in me. So, um, what did you do? Well, I mean, if a woman was taken out of man, yes, there's a sensitive that's part true. of man somewhere. There is a very so, sensitive part. Praise um, the Lord. So what what it is, though, is that there's something that creeps in around Come this on, season and tries to master you when it says that you are the one that is supposed to be mastering it. Whoa. Come on. You, you guys hear this? Say that so again. Say that again. This, this thing creeps in. Because of one little attitude and, and tries to master you because you didn't subdue it. And then what we need to do is we need to master it. I said, I want you to master and subdue this thing. The Lord is speaking to Cain. He said, I can tell that there's something different about you because I can see it on your face. Wow. That's so good. That's so good. Are y'all getting this? And you better refuse this thing because yes. it's waiting at the door to pounce on you like a lion. And then that attitude, if you don't put that thing in check, that's the so thing. So now that what opens I want you to do, to what I need you to do is Ooh. subdue it Come on. and become its master. Put your heel on its throat mm -hmm. and never let up. Because as soon as you let up, he gonna get up. Now watch this, guys. Mm. This is listen. <clears throat> Amen. Sin is gonna be here till the day Jesus comes back. But you don't have to let it in. But you don't have to let it in. You do not have to let it in. Are y'all hearing this? The enemy's gonna do everything he can to try to destroy you every single day. But we Preach. have the victory. We have the victory. We're not sitting here crying no. and whining and all of that mess. Because why? We're going to conquer. Yeah. We're going to subdue it. We're not going to let it up. Mm -hmm. 
which we're going to check our attitudes. So I'm going to you today, this. I want you to check your attitude mm -hmm. and see, is there something that you need to subdue today to put those attitudes in check? The Lord's speaking to you. Mm -hmm. It's time to subdue it. Amen? Amen. Now we're going to talk some more about it this week because we're going to get some better attitudes, but we're, we might have to keep kicking some attitudes down before we get there. I'm so glad you're teaching on this. This is a I know teaching. it's crazy for during Christmas season. But this everybody is wants not to, something everybody that, wants to talk about. Yeah, you know, it's taught during the holidays. I know, but but here's the thing. You're going to go to church and everybody's going to talk about the birth of Jesus and whatnot. And the joy, God, and the joy the of the Lord. And we need that. But I want to get real with you so that you go through the holidays not faking it, but in true joy. Yes. I want you to go through the holidays really, yes. really excited and enjoying knowing I've learned something to help me subdue this thing that's tried to destroy my Christmas every year. And I will not let it happen this year in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 If you are just now jumping on, you're going to want to go back and watch this from the very beginning. Share this, tag this, inbox this to someone today. You need to make sure that you gather your kiddos around the table tonight, um, parents, and go through this lesson with your family yeah. this evening. I believe that this is a family devotion teaching. Husbands, wives, kids, young and old, all need this lesson. Um, this is so important. Mm -hmm. If you have, and I, and I wanna, I wanna change notes here. Um, go to our website, chrisbrooksministries.com forward slash partner. I want for you to pray and ask Holy Spirit. Don't just do this haphazardly because whenever you link arms to impact lives with a ministry for the kingdom of Almighty God, don't take it lightly. Ask Holy Spirit what you can sow into this kingdom assignment, whether it's a one-time gift or partnering with this assignment monthly. We cannot do what we do without you. We are not on staff at a church. We do not receive a salary from any other organization. Um, it is all through the support of our partners. And whenever we go into revivals and do leadership for conferences, marriage conferences, and so forth, go to our website, chrisbrooksministries.com forward slash partner and join with us to see lives impacted all across the globe. Um, and if you are brand new to watching these episodes, go back to last week's um, post. There are so many testimonies of people that um, this ministry has just absolutely not only transformed their lives, but transformed their entire family. Mm -hmm. All right. You've got all the information. You've got the tools. Yes. You've got the arsenal yes. in your weaponry. So go and use it today. We love you. Let me pray for you. Today, we declare that you are the head, not the tail, yes. above and not beneath. No plague, no pestilence, no tragedy come against you. And the blessing of the Lord be upon you and upon all your family. We declare that you would prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. And everything that you put your hands to, wherever you tread your feet, you take dominion and authority over that yes. place. When you speak the word, the word comes forth and produces yes. blessing and dividends over you, over your family, and everyone that you pray for and declare over. So yes. we declare this over your lives today. And we give God all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. We love you and we will see you tomorrow. 8.30 Central, 9.30 Eastern. All right, guys. Good challenge. It won't change you. Bye. See ya.